Hey, everybody, and hello, and thank you for coming to the bunker. Um, if you've been here before, thank you for coming back again. If this is your first time, uh, we you know, stream indie artists, live stream indie artists, uh, solos and bands and duos. Tonight we have a duo. Put, uh, log in to YouTube if you want to ask questions. It's a nice part of the show. You have a chance to have dialogue. Uh, leave feedback, wave, ask questions if you'd like. Uh, it's always a part of the show. Um, tonight, Quentin and uh, Ari will uh, pause to uh, to answer your questions. And along that line, we have Quentin and Ari Dover. I first met these wonderful people about two years ago when they were here with a band called Kadooj. Had a great show. Uh, and uh, they, <clears throat> they reached out a little while ago and said, can they do a duo? They're husband and wife team. Both music professionals, both went to NIU uh, to study music together. Uh, tonight, uh, I don't know everything they're going to play. Some of the songs they did on their uh, sound check sounded wonderful. I think it's going to be a nice experience and a nice little journey. Uh, they'll tell you about the songs along the way. Again, Ari Bernard and Quentin Dover, uh, and they call it Chaos Accord. I'm going to have to ask them where that name came from because I don't know, but we will figure that out along the way. We're free to the audience, and we're free to the artists. You'll have a chance to leave tips. We have a special offer of a signature photo later tonight. But we're going to get right into the music uh, now. And so, Quentin and Ari, it's all your show, and have a great time. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, you know, I'm really excited to be doing a live show like this and to be able to um, have the, the chat going on. So we'll definitely check that out as we go. Feel free to ask questions. Um, we'll have a little storytelling, but any, you know, our life is an open book. <laughs> so, so ask anything. But to introduce this first set of songs, um, we're going to play four that we've we're, we're making a suite out of them, and three of them were written in Teller County, Colorado. And um, so there is a family property there that uh, is a place where we refresh, revive, reset ourselves, reorient each year. Um, and it's very, uh, it's just majestic mountains. There's a view of Pikes Peak that's absolutely phenomenal, and uh, it's one of the, our, we went there for our honeymoon and we've gone almost every year since. Um, and now we have a young child at home, Dax, who's five years old and he's begun to make the trip with us. So uh, these first few songs are about the experiences that we have there, that way of you know coming from the flatlands of Illinois to a completely different environment and the types of thoughts and feelings that that evokes. Okay.
That was very. Well, was that? Uh, what was the title of that? Um, the second one was the call, <laughs> and it was literally, um, I was sitting outside, trying to write a song, and my son, who at that time was four, was just, "Mom, mom, come inside, mom, you get inside right now. No, stop doing that. Put down the guitar." <laughs> and so it started off just silly, but. Um, I don't know. I feel very dramatic, and it's a fun one to sing. Um, I uh, 
you know, we d- went through a bunch of different change-outs, and we're back to the electric guitar. And, Quentin, you should check the tuning on your guitar, because I think we put it down for a while, and I think it zipped out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, while you're waiting, um, I would kindly ask you to give a thumbs up on uh, uh, the show, if you like Quentin and uh, Ari. Uh, and uh, uh, a, a thumbs up on the video will help them get more views after we're over tonight. And it's a nice way to show appreciation. Ooh, I see um, Moy says that we're on the big screen, so that's pretty <laughs> exciting. Oh, and my small child. My sister says that the small child and my mother and her are tuned in also. And um, my Uncle Mikey says it looks good. So I love my family, and I'm happy they're... Thank you, support. And my sister-in-law is watching from Puerto Rico, so that's really cool, too. Oh, wow. International. <laughs> yep. Okay, I think tuned and ready. Um, This next one's literally called The Mountain Song, and uh, since we paused, I will give the preamble. Um, I had the good fortune to meet some internet friends, which is something that I had never done before, but there's a bass player I really love whose name is Gail Ann Dorsey. Um, She played with Bowie. She has her own songwriting career, solo albums. Um, She recently, last week, was um, on one of the late shows with um, Lenny Kravitz, with whom she's toured. Um, But anyway, one of the really cool things that come out of the pandemic was um, wonderful musicians were suddenly accessible (laughs) through the Internet when uh, when they had downtime for the first time in years. Um, So anyway, there's a group called the Gadiators, um, fans of Galen Dorsey, and we had the opportunity to chat with her. And she was um, as a group, we were talking about technology and the need to step away from it um and like even though we were doing something really cool on technology with technology being on zoom together um it's so important to just you know shut off your don't do it now don't get off your phone don't shut off your television now but (laughs) in general yes we need this in our lives um so this next song was inspired by that conversation it's called the mountain song Turn off the TV, put down the 
like you do. Thank you, thank you. So, Dream Sweeper, I should mention. Um, oh, so, so, Quentin and I are both uh, music educators, and so that song was actually developed at a lesson with um, a friend of his, Janina, and she um, created a comic, like a illustrated comic, Dream Sweeper, and presented that comic at a at a comic con, and um, so this was a song to accompany. So. All the other words you'll hear tonight were mine, but the um, words that you just heard were written by her, um, and that progression was something that they were working on at their lesson. So thank you, <laughs> Janina. Why don't you guys take a look at the uh, uh, chat? You have a, a lot of nice friends and family in the oh, chat. Oh, cool. So call them out. Oh, and that's thank you. I, I hope to spread the relaxation. <laughs> I don't see any questions, but I'm going to ask the first one. Sure. I just got uh, what's with, uh, where the, what's with, where the name come from? Oh, Chaos Accord. Actually, that segues nicely too. Okay. So Dream Sweeper, I, we usually play with our bands called Radiator. Radiator also, and that's a, ba I, I sing and play bass, Quentin drums in that, 
incarnation. <laughs> um, but Radiator has a song, and our first song as a band was called Rock Out. And Rock Out has a chorus um, which utilizes the words chaos accord. Um, but that phrase just dates way back, like 20, 25 years ago, I don't know. We went through a period of time where things were quite chaotic and um you know we would make jokes on you know we'd go to practice in the basement and say oh we're going to the church of rock and roll and and how music is just this way that we find um the harmony i don't know so it's kind of cheesy but a chord you know is built upon harmony and um so it's a way of you know channeling energies and calming the heck down <laughs> Well, um, thanks. I never yeah. would have guessed it was that complicated, <laughs> but that's great. Complicated indeed. <laughs> I'm sure the audience can be persuaded to ask some more questions, so oh. keep that in mind. Oh, spread, the spread the relaxation. Well, okay. Oh, so Tony is in a band, um, Kadooj, and the one that you mentioned before that we had. Um, so he's a fabulous drummer. And in that group, our singer is Patrick Good. And he, you can learn a lot about him through his lyrics and so forth. But recently, you know, he asked Quentin and I, you know, he said something like, you know, how do you guys keep it fresh? How do you guys, you know, not kill each other? Like, how do you do these things um, and keep a good relationship? Um, but we don't always. So this next song <laughs> is actually about that. Um, and yeah, it's called We Get Crazy.
ourselves to a good life To peace on a quiet afternoon Life is a song that we all sing along In our own voice When we make the choice to feel We have one more with this instrumentation, um, and then we're going to switch switch it to even more acoustic than we already are. Um, but this next one is a throwback. It's called uh, Vision Quest, and uh, Quentin originally learned it um, in my very first band. Uh, we were in a band called Rubies and Attica, and when I met Quentin, I met him at Community College in 1995, and uh, he Actually, the song after this, I play clarinet. We met, he invited me to jam on my clarinet. So if you can imagine how cool that is, who does that? <laughs> and he was, he was in the thrash band at the time. He was a thrash guitarist. And he's like, hey, will you come jam in my parents' garage on your clarinet? Um, and I did. And the rest is history. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's play... I have to remember the story, though. This one's a little dangerous. <laughs> Anything could happen. <laughs>
very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, you're going to bear with me for a second because they're going to change out some of their instruments. So I will talk to you for just a minute while they are doing their thing. So we are uh, the bunker. And um, see if I can get myself up here on full screen usually don't go down this route but I should be able to get here yeah there we are yeah thanks for coming uh, tonight um, um, I'm enjoying it uh, these songs uh, they're longer than I thought they were gonna be which is fine but <laughs> uh, that's right we, we roll that way um, Thank you so much for coming. If you um, are so inclined uh, and you'd like to leave a tip, uh, at, don't do it now because it interrupts the show, but towards the end, you, there's uh, links below for Venmo or PayPal to leave a tip. We have a sig uh, signature photo um, that I will show you towards the end of the show. And it's $25. We split it with the artist, and uh, half goes to the bunker and half goes to the artist. It's a nice way to support the bunker. Uh, we like to, we're free to everybody, and we like to keep it that way. Um, we have, uh, looks like, uh, I, if you guys, these guys are probably need another minute to get ready. Are you guys ready, Terry? Yeah, so, just a minute. Uh, and um, while we're here, I'll just bring up who's next. And Shadowfield, not, next week we don't actually have a show, but next Thursday we have Shadowfields. This is sort of similar to uh, Ari and Dover. They're, it's an electric band, all kinds of different instrumentation. What do they call it? Bohemian folk or something. I'm really looking forward to that one. But that'll be up soon. And uh, there is a question there. I'm, I don't, we're going to get to your question. Somebody said, are we going to see a reunion of... What did they say, Ari? Did, can you see that? Yeah. Let me bring you back up. This is Anne Seamus. And... Um, yes. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. So everything that you hear tonight is, you know, it's stripped back and pared down. But I have a fantastical vision of creating an album with all my friends on it. So every, pretty much everyone in the chat, you're invited. <laughs> we just have to figure out, you know, how, how, how to do that. The logistics, yes. Who's going to record and when? Um, but... Yes. Uh, yeah, we should do that this summer. Let's so did, that. You, did you say the food is laced? Is the that food the is laced. Yes, we had um, Brazos on guitar. I played bass, Quentin drums, and our friend Seamus King played the trumpet. Um, and we did a few shows and yeah, good times. Yep. Oh. Thanks, Playback Sound, for the feedback on the video. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Mojo Montana's here, so, um, <laughs> um, is that Tony Montana? No. It yeah, is. yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was the other Tony, Tony THC. Maybe he's got multiple handles. So. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, looking forward to this. Uh, and uh, you guys, you're all set up there, Ari? Yes, this is our um, song for the coming election. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Thank you. Tipping point, we're dancing 
on a high wire that's bouncing with the weight of our uncertainties. We're treading the fine line, intention or destiny. What do we get to decide? Hesitated when I reached the poles Cause part of me wants this and part of me knows the Faces may change, the lies will always stay the same I said to you, we're at a turning point We're treading in deep water We're carrying the weights of our uncertainty or destiny What do we get to decide?
very nice. I need to remember to unmute my guitar. Um, this next one, you, you had mentioned that, um, so Quentin and I both went to Northern Illinois University. He went there first and I just hobnobbed <laughs> for a while. Um, I started following him to uh, Gamelon Ensemble. And you majored in hobnob? <laughs> I did, I majored in hobnob. Well, funny story. So years ago, I read some articles written by Nick Grabenitis, um, who's a, a blues musician who um, I am related. He, he doesn't know me. I met him once in my life, but we're related. And um, he wrote about how, you know, Butterfield Blues Bands and, you know, University of Chicago and not actually going there, but just hanging out and doing like the coffee house scene and the, the um, jam nights and <laughs> open mics. So my career at NIU began more like that. Um, but then I joined Chinese Music Ensemble. The opportunity arose to go back to school to complete a bachelor's and then master's. Um, and I was basically two years behind Quentin, who, who had already started that path. Uh, so it was great. We did world music, um, had lots of adventures. But the way that this connects is that at Quentin's um, graduate recital, we performed this song with the Chinese Music Ensemble and with our heavy metal drummer, Tony Montana, who came and sat in with the band. Uh, and it was just such a cool experience. Uh, then there's uh, this flute play player, Joe LaRocca, who, who surprised us with this phenomenal, <laughs> like intertwining solo. It was just such a moment. Um, so this was, you, you will hear a much more stripped back version. Um, but hello, Tony, and hello, anybody from the World Music Program. Well, that's great, but you, you just pigeonholed Tony Montana into a heavy metal drummer. No, I, I, I have a, that's You said right. those oh, words. He's going he's he's to blast you Oh, here. my God. Yeah. Okay, I'll never live it down. He is an everything drummer. He is a professional. He, he, he's amazing. I haven't seen him because he's been on tour. <laughs> so I'll see you soon, Tony. I should say in a, in a couple of weeks, he's been, he's been out. Um, how does this begin? Now I have to collect myself. Okay. <laughs> I work too much. Together or useless, can 
confusing magnets with glue. I fit my time on nonsense and whining, two jobs, cooking and school. I believe in myself, but I believe someone else, and I cannot correlate the two. Thank you. Um, this next one's called Sand. Oh, and Quentin's going to tune to D. <laughs> He's going down to D. And um, I've pointed this out before on the song, but I love this song because this is another one. It's, it's a throwback to my youth, um, but Quentin has added beautiful chord extensions, and so I just, it makes me feel loved. <laughs> So chord extensions are when you superimpose another chord on top of a chord and they have to have at least two notes in common. So it, it makes just, in my mind, I just think of it as a mega chord. <laughs> like you think you know chord, but do you know mega chords? Okay. Two, three, four, one. Break free, crush 
nourishing the child laughing because Quentin and I enjoy doing fade outs. <laughs> a lot of these songs have fade outs. And that was um, Sand, is that That correct? was Sand. Yeah, um, very beautiful. I like to write on vacation <laughs> and <laughs> because, the you know, there's time. So uh, that one, I, I wrote the lyrics for visiting my grandparents in, um, at, and I was at the beach at the time and there's lots of sand around. <laughs> Um, we have two more in the other instrumentation, um, and I'm going to check the, the chat here. Let's see what is happening. Oh, a beautiful shaky voice. Ooh, that is my vibrato. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, what kind of strings are on your classical guitar, Quentin? Oh, Didario Pro Artes. Okay. Oh, and you played a wicked guitar melody. I agree. Oh. So, okay. Uh, while Quentin's tuning, yeah. now would be a good time to <laughs> subscribe to the bunker. I'm just saying, you got nothing else to do. You might as well subscribe. Definitely subscribe. This is a... Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Good Wor show. Words cannot describe how cool it is that you do this program. Great for original music, original local artists and national artists and everything that comes through here. It's great. Well, thanks so much, guys. You're you're what makes it happen. Okay. Tattered daydream about a space cruise and Earth. <laughs> Lots of songs about Earth. Earth, children, mountains. <laughs>
laughing is there an inside uh yeah i'm laughing because i i keep like name dropping because there's a wonderful community of musicians and you are supporting that community by doing the bunker and so the song that we just played um i see the sons of raw t-shirt on yeah. the wall and eric in that band um, we were in a group together with quentin and eric and <laughs> some other people um in the early 2000s, like, um, I'd say 2001, 2002. And, uh, that was a song that, that Eric and Quentin played with me. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Um, we're really blessed in Chicago. It's like the musicians are a small group or they're, they're a big group in a big market, but everybody knows everybody. So it's a large community here. And the overlap, uh, over the years is really something quite amazing. Um, I don't think you find it in other parts of the country. Chicago is really something special. 
Yeah, we've been really lucky. Um, we've met and gotten to play with so many wonderful musicians. And But just in general, you know, shows and just the vibe. And um, musicians tend to be nice <laughs> around here, or at least we've been really lucky with that. Um, so we have just one more. I'm going to look at the chat, though, just in case anybody has a question. Ask us your questions. <laughs> I have a question. Sure. Uh, there's like a lot of people here and only 14 people have hit the thumbs up button. So uh, there's like five missing. That's the way I look at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, where are put, you? Put them on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> this final song I have played with Kadooj and Radiator. Last summer, uh, we joined forces to play at Cantini Park for their pride picnic. And um, this is a song about getting through times of adversity, staying, it's called Stay on My Feet. <laughs> and so you can tell from the title uh, what it's about. But uh, I think some of it is, tends towards the specificities of womanhood, but it's, it's, it's a song for everybody. I think anyone can relate. And I need to, okay. There is no chaos A minor chord in this song. <laughs> okay.
thank you so much, uh, Ari and Quentin and uh, Chaos Accord. Don't go anywhere quite yet. We have uh, some stuff to follow up with you. Um, fantastic set. You know, you've, you've got a lot of... I love that you jump into these complex instrumentals with clarinet and Quentin on that second song, um, Time. Man, that was beautiful playing. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, and just, it was such a, such a nice diversity as you go through your set list. Um, and it's, there's something, it's like, it's, it was a fun show because there was something always like, what's coming up next? Because I haven't heard these songs, right? And it's like, oh, what are they going to do now? And it's like a, sort of a surprise coming. Um, a couple things to, to, uh, to cue off the show here before anybody goes anywhere. Uh, first thing, here is the, uh, the set list. Uh, uh, Ari, you can take a look at the set list on your <laughs> phone there. And there's still a nice crowd here. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And you had 10 songs tonight, although the first couple were like combo songs. So, But um, uh, audience, you get to vote for your favorite song. And you have like a minute or two and just put in, there's the titles. Uh, oh, we yes. get Crazy Vision Quest. I'm sure Quentin and Ari have their favorite songs, but you got to have a chance to do that. We have um, <clears throat> the signature picture, uh, picture, and I finally have one to show you because I went out and I got it. And uh, so here's what it looks like. Uh, we already sold one. Thank you so much. You remain anonymous because right. I don't know if I can say it, so it's always nice. Uh, <clears throat> they're limited and edition. They're numbered, and they're five, and they're dated, and it says the bunker, and it comes with a letter of authenticity in case anybody ever wanted to challenge you down the road. It's a, So it's a collectible item, and uh, it's... Way to support the bunker. We're we're free to the artists and we're free to the audience, and we will stay that way. But um, if you'd like to support what we do, uh, that means everything more than you know. As I mentioned before, uh, there's tip links down below. By the way, the picture is Venmo. You can do Venmo for twenty five dollars. You can go to eBay and go through that if you have an eBay account. Uh, and then the tips are the same thing. And so, as small or large, it means a lot. Uh, not necessary, but um, always nice. Um, you can, uh, I'm going to say, uh, to uh, well, here's support the bunker. Subscribe. We have a newsletter if you'd like to. Our email list, we just send out show schedules. We don't spam anybody, but we send out what's upcoming show schedules. But you know, I would encourage you to support the artists. Ari and Quentin have um, a social media on Facebook and Instagram, and um, they're, they're just starting out, or their channels or the, the, the social medias are small. It would be nice to get a couple ramps up there along the way because I really enjoyed them. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mentioned, uh, um, here, I'll bring up the calendar. We have uh, Shadow Fields coming up on April 11th. The next show after that is Cleggy, a solo show on Tuesday. Cleggy's big supporter of the bunker and just a great guy, and he's going to do a solo acoustic show on Tuesday on the t April 23rd. On April 25th, on Thursday, the Early's coming back. They were here two years ago. They have a brand new album. They're out of Indiana. Um, so it's nice for them to travel up here. It takes them three or four hours, but they get here, and it's always very cool. We have Kadooge coming back. And uh, you're going to recognize a couple people in this picture. Um, of course, Quentin's hair looks like it's uh, shorter. So this is probably an older <laughs> picture. And there's uh, the hard rock drummer, uh, 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 Tony Montana, on the right. So he's just a, uh, what do you call him? Yeah. No, Tony's amazing. I, I'm we're, giving a hard time. No, I I often feel like, wow, yeah. I get to play with Tony. Th yeah, this show is, <laughs> is May 2nd. Uh, and then uh, 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 Ricky Lion Tones is here with a band. I'm really, this is going to be a wild, crazy show. That's all I can say. And he's going to be here on May 16th. We have a, a bunch of other bands coming up. Uh, you can go see them listed. I won't read them off, but we have shows throughout the rest of May and June. Then going into July, we're doing something special with um, the Road to Homegrown. I've been involved with them for a couple of years now as a supporter. And uh, the Road to Homegrown, we're going to have a series of artists coming in before Homegrown, which is like August something. And we're going to have shows on Thursdays of the Homegrown bands. You see them online, then you can go see them at Homegrown. So anyway, thank you so much for supporting the bunker. Here's the set list again, and if we have any comments, do we have a? Because we play the song on the way out and uh, on the outro. So. Uh. 
Okay, somebody nice. somebody has to chime in. Somebody's got to chime chat. in. Otherwise, we're just going to leave it to Quentin or Eric, or I can choose, but I, I'm going to leave it to you guys. you got 30 seconds to type in a name. Wow. Cat got your tongue. Cat got your fingers. Oh, but Leah says, excellent show, but she's not saying the song that she wants. Come on. She's my sister. She knows. <laughs> Right, oh, oh, Jackie says she loves the mountain song. So wow. thank you, Jackie. Uh, there's I sand in the mountain song. <clears throat> we'll give it 30 more oh, seconds here. Oh. oh, sand. Oh, cool. I'll work too much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boy, I hope the next election isn't like this because it's, it'll be disputed again. <laughs> no, uh, let's. Uh, uh, all right, work too much. I got three of them for work too much. Unless it's the same person. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Aliyah says Zephyr. That's a, a word in sand. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Ari and uh, you guys g- uh, get to choose because it's a tie. What do you? What would you want? Oh, I'll let leave Quentin the choose because I've done all the. Go ahead, Quentin. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> sand. <laughs> all right, sand. It is. Yeah. Uh, say a couple words on the way out while I cue this up. Um, Ari, thank you so much, everybody, for coming to the bunker. And I'll cue this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, and Quentin. Do you have any shows him. coming up or any <laughs> tracking coming up? Or what are you going to do, be doing? Could give us your future. Well, I'm playing at the Craft Urban in Geneva, uh, doing solo classical and South American guitar stuff um, from 7.30 to 9.30. They have a, like a ramen menu or something at, at night. That's on Saturday. It's on this, Saturday. Yeah, day after yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, day after tomorrow. And Chaos Accord has nothing booked, yeah, so yes, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly Venues yes. and talent managers yes. uh, book us. But I, I definitely, a goal for the summer is to do some recording. All right, very good. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the, uh, to the bunker. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you not next week, but the week after. And have a great night.